This is the basic unit types tutorial. The most common type of unit in Lock and Load Tactical is a squad. This is a squad of US paratroopers. It is also referred to as a 254 squad or 2546 squad, just reading the numbers off of it to identify the type. The numbers in order mean 2 is their firepower, 5 is their weapons range in hexes, 4 is their movement factor, and 6 is their morale. You can also see these numbers by hovering over the unit in the bottom of the screen, and a box will appear showing all the details. This is a full squad. It has multiple figures on it. A half squad has a single figure. Half squads come about as a result of a full squad taking casualties, or they just begin the scenario as a half squad. Together, full squads and half squads are also referred to as MMCs, or multi-man counters. There are also SMCs, single man counters. The most common type of SMC is a leader. Leaders don't participate in combat by firing their weapons, so they have a different set of numbers. They have the same morale number in the same position. Then the second number is their leadership value. And Corporal Medro is not a super great leader, so his leadership is zero. And their movement factor is the third number, six. There are, however, single-man counters that do fire their weapons in combat. Heroes and snipers. And so they have numbers in the same position as squads. This hero has a firepower of 2, a weapons range of 2, and a movement of 6, and a morale of 6. This sniper, firepower 0, range 8. He's not allowed to move, and a morale of 6. And the last type of single-man counter that appears in the starter kit is a medic. This is a German medic, as the U.S. forces don't have a medic in the World War II version of the starter kit. The third type of counter is a support weapons counter. Support weapons, like this machine gun, have a firepower and range value. Another type of weapon counter that does not appear in the starter kit is an ordnance weapon, like this bazooka. And it has an HE value in a square. I'm showing it here for the sake of completeness. There are other counters that can appear on the map that do not indicate units, such as administrative counters. This melee marker is an administrative counter, simply showing that there's a melee occurring in that hex. It will be removed at the end of the turn. This smoke is also an administrative or terrain marker that has appeared during the turn. In the board game, you often use administrative markers such as Ops Complete, Move, or Fired to place on top of other counters. In the computer game, we use smaller versions of these counters. These squads have an Ops Complete counter in the corner. And this squad has a moved counter. As with the melee marker, they will be removed at the end of the turn. There are a few other kinds of counters that do not appear in the starter kit. There are weapons teams, which are large counters. A machine gun weapons team has similar values to a squad, firepower, range, movement, and morale. There are weapons teams that have facings, such as anti-tank guns. There's a triangle in the corner indicating which hex vertex it is facing. We can rotate it, and it can shoot in these two directions that it is facing. And of course, the last type of counter is a vehicle counter. They have facing similar to the anti-tank gun. And a lot of numbers on them. We'll go over those in a different tutorial. And that's your basic unit types.